You've been waiting for it. You've wanted it. You've needed it. We're gonna build Terrytown. We're gonna chop down a lot of trees. I already have. Alright, we've chopped down a lot of trees. We're good to go. Ooh. Yep. A little bit racist there, Hudson, but okay. I can't even see them. No, if you don't want your go around that public, yeah. what would people think? They're allowed to open businesses. Look over there. Why don't I just drop all the other wood I have right now? Make it a lot quicker. One thing at a time. Literally bury this man in his bowl cut in wood. There's Hudson's two little framing squares. They're Japanese style squares. They're flexible, so they hang over the edge of the wood, but they still keep the line square across, which is quite nice. Once again, fuck all the trees in town. Yeah. Hey, Grayson, how do you like this kind of farty, earthbound-inspired music here? <laughs> yeah, the music of Terrytown is actually modular. As you add new people, instruments and melodies from their hometowns will be added to it. Hey, Pellison. So the Gorons brought their farty horns. Of course. That's the traditional Goron music. Oh, they're forcing this minor miner to man the shop. <laughs> <laughs> with his little pink thong, what is up with those underpants, Pellison? I ain't got anything else to hide. Do they make him wear the bib all the time, or do they do it by choice? I think it's like a baby thing. He's just waiting until he grows up enough to not have to wear the bib. He's actually born with it. When he hits score on puberty, it'll drop off. Yep, falls off. That's actually their umbilical cord. God. <laughs> oh, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Oh. Better out than in, I say. <laughs> so we're off looking for another sun person, huh? Looking for a Gyarado. Hi, Ronson. Savota. What indeed are Vo looking for? Do you know what Vo are looking for? People whose name ends in Sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be harder to find people whose name end in Daughter. Ah, fair enough. Unless you go to Iceland. <sighs> um, Grim's Daughter was a character in the first Splinter Cell. That is true. It's, now that I think about it, pretty rad name. Mm-hmm. Well, off she casually walks in her desert walking high heels all the way to Terrytown. The wrong way. Didn't bring any water, didn't bring any food. And that was absolutely the wrong way, what the hell? <laughs> the clothes on her back and some impractical footwear. Wait, what is happening here? A bunch of nerds are sitting by the fire in the desert. <laughs> oh, for a second I thought all like the sad nerds made a sad nerd town. I think it, it might actually be some sort of like sad nerd compound. There are women in the inn. It's right there. It has flags on it. Go talk to one of them. Mm. No, they're too scary. What if they laugh at us? Dude, you are late. Good looking out. Good work. We're all very proud of you. This is some of my favorite dialogue in the whole game. Cool. Date you want to go do on to? Ah, better luck next time. And that defeated sigh. <sighs> oh. Just dropping in to see how the town's going. <laughs> What's up, Hudson? Yeah, totally. Ah, uh, mmm, really? 
Yep, no objections. I have absolutely no objections to this hottie moving into town. <laughs> So you need to get all the wood so you can upgrade your house and get the double bed and shit wrong game. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, there's nobody who can really move. Birds can move. Birds are super good at moving. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen Rito? Okay, so we gotta find a Rito salesperson whose name ends in Sun. And like with Ronson here, they're not in a shop or anything. They're just lying on the ground feeling sad for themselves. <laughs> Desert Vo. Yep, this is another place you can buy the Vo set. I like buying it illegally, though. Oh, of course. And also, once a couple of people have moved in, this dude shows up. I think he lives here. His name doesn't end in Sun, though, so I guess the people that actually live and work in Terrytown have to end the name in Sun. Hand! <laughs> okay. What did you just sign us up for? Is this Shark Tank? Pretty much. It's killing two guardians. It's a weird side quest because he pays us in advance. Hobbies of the rich. So we could just not do it? It kinda. But it's killing guardians. I like doing that anyway. Technically, in life, Yami, you don't actually have to do anything that anyone tells you. Are you seriously out of regular arrows? How did that happen? First time ever. <laughs> what the hell? And so, rather than just not kill the dog, you triple lightly lasered the dog. No, they hassle you so bad, though. They always show up when you least want them to, and they're like, Oh, I'm gonna bite your heels, because I'm a dog. They never bothered me once, they just ran in circles around me like excited puppies. And as you can see, I'm perfectly armored for fighting this guy. Yeah. Yep, doing, doing good. Looking good. I missed. Not that time. Oh. Ah, the Master Sword is now glowing. Yep. Yeah. This is what it was made for. That and Kraken Boulders. And hitting switches. Yep. And driving golf balls. Propping open doors. Oh, you flipped it! Death flip. Ow! Oh, I've been roundly humiliated. And there's still another one around here. I think both of the guardians are active. Like, immediately. Yeah. Oh, you're uh, oh. having a little problem there, pal. <laughs> Let me help you with that. Yeah, there you go. There we go. That's really weird how, like, the, the coding for the... Oh, dear. Yes. Really weird how the coding for the feet made it, like, try to scrabble for purchase on, like, the vertical tree trunk. It was really gross. Hang on. Take two. There we go. Ah, you cut the tail. Way to go. Now you get the guardian sword. Yep, that's right. Make sure you carve it. Make sure you get your sick carves. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can still shoot you. If this game did a Monster Hunter-ish rare drop thing, I don't know if I'd like that or hate that, because, like, right now you get all the drops anyway. Well, they, they still kind of do that, because there is ancient cores. Right? Ancient cores are, are basically the plates and or gems of this game. Oh. What's up, Fison? Go and talk to my brother, Bison. Oh. He's out in the field somewhere.
Okay, so... How the hell do I get Link to write me a reference? Because apparently that's all it takes for someone to let you open up a business for free in their town. Well, you gotta find, uh... Well, actually, okay, so here's here's the problem, right? The problem is not that you don't have a reference from Link. The problem is that your name doesn't end in Sun. Like everything else, it's my parents' generation's fault. Exactly. It's just a shame that you have an unpopular name now. I hate my parents, but I'm following in their footsteps anyway. The music's gotten so good. <laughs> there are no mothers here. Mothers are strictly forbidden from entering. That's right. It's sons only. Someone shows up pushing a stroller, we just dump them off the side. This is Bolson construction, not Bull Mum construction. <laughs> We then adopt the child, give it a son name, and raise it as our own. Raise it as your son. Thanks, I'll buy everything you got. Almost. Not this ancient gear, though. That's everything Fison's shop will ever have. Like, if I were to buy the ancient gear, the shop would be empty forever. Yeah, they don't restock, which is really lame. But I think they sell stuff a little bit cheaper. Possibly. So, he's not a very good businessman because he's got an extremely limited stock <laughs> and gears are one of the more common things I get from guardians anyway yeah I think 50 is the last set of wood he's gonna ask for oh what's up Hudson what are you serious it's been two days wow no way Oh, yeah, I know, totally. We've all been wondering when you guys were finally going to pull the trigger on this. <laughs> <laughs> like, for two days, it's been fucking will they, won't they, Sam and Diane bullshit over here. <laughs> yep. And Sam and Diane never did, so thank you. Yeah, no, exactly. So, I mean, good. I'm glad that you guys finally hooked up. But Niles and Daphne did, and that's why it was a better show. Oh no, everyone loves Frasier so much now. It's Cause it's a fucking better show. Jeez. What did I just say? Well, no, I got you. I just don't know why after 20 years it's come back. I don't know. Maybe because it surprisingly holds up well. No, I suppose that's okay. Either way, I like Frasier. I just don't like anything that's popular, but regardless. <laughs> so this board guy. Yeah, so killed those things for no adequately explained reason. Wow. Yeah, a little bit. That's weird. What? Okay. I can die now. Yeah, like a glider? Can I push you? I wish you took a moment to look around the inside of these cute little houses, because I love them so much. I will later. Do you? Oh, okay. Never mind then. I'm good. At least one or two houses. Well, they're all the same. They're modular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you have cuties? We will never come back and chat with this man again. No, nope. he's gonna die wondering where that adorable Sheikah went off to. Hi, Ronson. I sound like I'm regretting my decisions. Oh, is it Savota? Yeah, of course, Ronson. Salamander. <laughs> Salisbury steak. So we need a Sora, 
whose name ends in Sun, who is priest-like. Yeah. Well, you can shorten Sidon. Oh, yeah. S mm. It's true. You gotta do some Jungian psychology and remove the id. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that was really bad. That was awful. No, <laughs> uh, that deserves a clap. That's a good one. Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you. That deserves to get the clap. <laughs> no! My clean undercarriage, Yammy. <laughs> Not you, just the joke. Oh, no! I don't know how we're gonna do this, but... The joke is me. Please don't make sweet, unprotected love to my bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Sidon's sad. That's sad. Who cares? Who cares? Let's go find a fucking priest. I need an old priest and a young priest, please. Yeah, what's up? Nice clipboard. Oh yeah, you remember this side quest? We talked about it a long time ago when we were back here. I wasn't able to do it back then because I didn't have the camera. Hi. Yeah, well, you know, that's toxic masculinity. What are you, chicken? <laughs> also, they're cowards. No, I don't actually know, but I imagine you could use a picture of any Lionel, not just the one on the mountain. You can, she explicitly said that. Well, that one's right there, we're gonna go take a picture of it. And then murder it? And then murder it. But in the meantime... Well, first oh. this dude. But also the guard right next to me, his name ends in son. His or her. I don't actually know. Yay, we fixed racism. Thank goodness we solved racism just like a mid-series episode of Night Court. So I actually kind of like this detail. There are people in the world whose name ends in sun that have nothing to do with the side quest. You know, like real life. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, you fucking idiot. <laughs> what do you mean bloodstain? You probably just kill like moblins and shit. I don't think you've been in a real fight ever. There been some fucking Zora war we don't know about? Did you murder scores of your kinsmen to protect, I don't fucking know, sacred fish? I think maybe actually she was a serial killer. Oh, nice Bigfoot photo. No, he's not looking back. We can't prove he's real by how his chest moves. Oh, that's a good point. Although, I mean, that actually really does hold up. So if you watch the footage. So I think we've discussed it, but this Lionel, he's the only one that doesn't scale with you. He's always a baby. So you can happily bully him. If you're feeling weak and sad. They drop shitty gear. Possibly also the Lionel at the bottom of the Lanera Mountain. I mean, you could have just subbed to my Instagram. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't do it. Don't go up there. He's gonna trot around. Especially now that I killed him. He'll be back. Blood Moon style. Hey! Zora Pants! Pants. There's the last pants. The final pants. The final pants. We got the final pants. We're now king of pants. I have every pants. It's the last piece of the Zora armor, at least. Yeah. Very long delayed. 
It's okay, it's not like you need them. No. Not as well as Zazara, because you still get tired out and then you die. <laughs> Isn't that just the pits? Right? That is the armpits of everything. Looking great. I love those flappy ears. It looks so ornate. It does. That's a lot of metal to be swimming in. It's like aluminum. Uh, that's a pretty specific fetish, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I like to watch them get married. If you find any engaged couples, please tell me immediately so I can go marry them without their <laughs> consent. <laughs> Boom, you're married now. Okay. I mean, that's cool, but will your fins and feet defeat a moblin? You could escape, at least. I suppose. They're slow. Yeah. Can he outrun a lightning arrow? Because there's lots of those on the way. Oh, there's so many. What about an Octorok? What if an Octorok, like, inhaled him and he got stuck inside of its head bulb <laughs> forever? And he's like, I can't officiate your wedding because I'm stuck <laughs> inside this Octorok. He says at Terrytown with the Octorok on his head. <laughs> on the plus side, the Octorok choked to death. It's against my religion to perform weddings inside an Octorok. <laughs> Our god is very specific and plans for everything. This Octorok has not been consecrated. But check this out, Terrytown is complete. And when that happens, Grante here, the son of Robbie, he shows up. Actually, he's obviously the son of Robbie. He's got his mom's hair and he's got the chic outfit. But he has his own shop and he only shows up occasionally. His hair doesn't look at all like the robot that gives you guardian stuff. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, you appear to be a demonic other version of Link. I'm that for a reason. Which we'll see in a bit. <laughs> but Grante here sells rare armors. Stuff you very likely might have missed. Such as the rubber set. Also, if you somehow break the Hylian shield, you can buy it again from him. Yep, this is where you get it again. So, Grante's sitting there selling a rubber gimp suit, huh? Look, he's just catering to his clientele. Yep. Married couples. Yep. Oh, god damn, he went through all that trouble for that nerd and steal his shoes when we could have just bought some. Tarrytown is the Tarrytown of very specific fetishes. That's why it's so far out of the way. Exactly. It's like that episode of Bob's Burgers with the swinging elders. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't judge, but that actually, I just have a visceral reaction to that. <laughs> like Grayson. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is a real nice town, and I'd kind of like to live in a place like this. Ah, uh, all that fog. <laughs> wow, what? <laughs> Why are you dressed so creepy? Ah, hey, what's up? You? <laughs> Any strange things? As soon as he heard about the big flower, he grabbed all our money and ran off. Can I stand on the table now? Oi! My lunch! Yep, that's what I said. Mm. Is it? Do you know what else is really good for business? Having an inventory. He's got two gears right there, ripe for the selling. What a guy. <laughs> Aw. Scaredy cutie. Whoa! 
So, I think this is about on par- Jeez, man! I think this is on par with Wei Shen's outfit that he wore to the wedding. In terms of, you know, appropriateness. I now pronounce you man and wife. We absorb your bright soul. Here, hold out your sword. <laughs> I'm gonna stand on it and <laughs> bop you in the nose. Yes! I now pronounce you forfeit. <laughs> yeah, of course. You mean, still? They, f they finished building everything? And they renovated my house. Man, well, we haven't seen them since I worked them to death. <sighs> Staring at each other. They were gonna make out before you showed up. I just scared the lust right out of them. Well, don't stop at our account. Just gonna look at my Sheikah slate. No, it's not a camera. That's crazy. Hi. <laughs> Got that voice. <sighs> Hi. Low. Can I have a fish massage, please, Capson? Slap, slap, slap. So good. I love your webby little feet. Thanks. You're really, uh, really doing this religious thing, huh? You know, it's a, a <laughs> bent on the pillow is normal. An entire carp is kind of strange. That is a little bit weird. And also, did you have to sit at the foot of my bed and read the entire fish bible <laughs> while I was trying to sleep? You know I can't understand most of it. Yeah, now you're set for a wedding. It's a lot of bubbling. Can we go back to bed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dressed for it now. Got my pajamas. <laughs> my body is ready. <laughs> Buenos dias, they call me a linkador. <laughs> like you went from scared to like really pissed off. <laughs> Hold it. Why are you being so obnoxious all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is that pose? I love the Lionel mask because when you wear it, you basically do a T pose. Oh, you do a pose like the monster! Yeah. Oh, that's cool! <laughs> this Elfos one is pretty good too. You just twitch. But I love that one. You stand so proud. Ah, uh, yeah, look, you're pretending that you have the ass of a horse. You're like. <laughs> Look at my horse's ass. <laughs> so we've reached the phase of the open world game where you just start acting fucking bonkers. <laughs> Took us long enough. <laughs> You're so dignified up to a very specific point. <laughs> Eh, might as well drop something off. Yep. Put down your dead friend's toys. Save them for Storm in the Castle. So they'll always be with you. Ah, your nice collection of Lion Owl items. <laughs> Look at all that I've killed. Savage Lion Owl Shield looks quite cool. You know you're gonna totally forget about these when it comes time to actually storm the castle. Oh yeah. You're just gonna get all the Royal Guard stuff. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey kids, don't invite your boss to your wedding. If my boss was Bolson though, I probably would, because I really legitimately love Bolson. <laughs> okay, yeah, also the reception would be crazy. Hi. I feel like you need to invite him to every party. Oh. We couldn't get rid of him. There's literally nothing for us to do but wait.
Yeah! Look at my Lionel <laughs> strength! I'm gonna lift this stone! Make them gains. Uh, a rainy wedding. Uh, a sunny, rainy wedding. Hey. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? Well, they raided my house. And he's marrying a teepee. <laughs> Out comes another carp. <laughs> oh, he's wearing his formal vest. <laughs> yep. And he left all his carpentry tools at home. <laughs> Look at him. He's just such a sweetie. Hoi! Hoi! And just me in the background is a lino. I'm wedding time. Rawr. I'm here in my fursuit. <laughs> They're traditional by Bolson standards. <laughs> just looking back and forth. Bolson leapt to his feet. You son of a bitch! Guidelines compliance! <laughs> yes. I'll take that back. The most OSHA wedding of them all. <laughs> yeah, they are the guidelines. That's pretty much the only punchline this whole thing could have. It's perfect. Just every part of it's perfect. Oh, I'm looking Bolson down there. Where are you getting all this confetti? Same place Hestu gets it. Who do you think <laughs> taught him to do that? Uh, wait, Hestu. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't invite him to the party. We need music. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> Weddings give me power. I'm Wedding Link. You look exactly like a drunk person trying to look sober. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I see you found a cooking pot. <laughs> it was filled with vodka 20 minutes ago. <laughs> we built this town. Now it's time to destroy it. I need 20 fire weapons from you. Hi. Wow. Oh, you're not going to wave Bolson? I get it. No, he's too cool for you. He's too cool for anyone. You should just be glad that he deigned to work on your shitty fixer-upper house. That's the real tragedy of Bolton. He's too cool for everyone. Huh. Whoa, you certainly got to your feet pretty quick there, brother. Huh, well-dressed Shadow Man. Everyone's terrified of Dark Link, and with good cause. He's dangerously beautiful. It was a Bolson wedding, Ronson. This is the family that you've married into. He's like, honey, put these gems in your dress. And she's like, it weighs 80 pounds. So will the baby. That's an extremely heavy carpenter, baby. Comes with his own set of tools. <laughs> of course. And a rolling tool chest Ooh. for them. Baby comes out wearing steel-toed boots. It was a very difficult labor. Well, yeah, but at least the baby was PPE compliant. She has dabs to push it out. And he was born after six o'clock, so baby got time and a half. Hey, yeah, that's great, actually. Way to go, baby. 
Do you get hazard pay for being born? Um, no, but actually you do need to be confined space certified. Oh. And depending on how tall the hospital bed is, maybe fall protection. Oh, and you're working in a aqueous environment, so you'll need to be, I guess, dive certified. Oh, jeez. Hardly even worth it, really. Boo. Boo. Anyway. Terrytown is complete. Oh! Sure, you only got 1500 bucks as a reward, but actually that was just well worth the journey. It was its own reward. Someone else's love was the real prize. Exactly. The love of these fake video game people that cease to exist as soon as you turn the system off. Yeah, but like, they feel more real to me than anyone else in the entire world. Than just standing in the back of their wedding as a monster. You really can't beat that. <laughs> I mean, that was really funny how he like looks back and forth between who's talking. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very attentive listener, and also terrifying. But next time, we've got a small stretch of the rest of the shrines and some other side quests that I'd started and I want to complete. I'm not going for all of the side quests, although I am considering, after the DLC, doing one last bit of just exploring, finding any other side quests I might have done, and wrapping up all of that before the final boss. But that's still a long way to go. But we've got just four parts of the rest of the shrines left, at least. And then we begin the DLC. So in conclusion, we built this city. We built this city on mostly wood. I'm okay with this. Ding, 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 ding.